Massimo Macaroni arrived as one of the rising young talents in Europe. The price paid to Empoli of £8.15 million was a club record, for the 22-year-old had already won his first cap for Italy and had been the jewel in the crown of their under-21 side that had defeated England in the European Championships. A gamble possibly, but the young striker was clearly a player with huge potential. Stop down now for Borough to Greening. Greening with a first time ball looking for Macaroni. Macaroni will try and watch that. Macaroni! Oh! Bellissimo! Massimo Macaroni in his home debut in the Premiership. Capitalised on the mistake by Andy Melville, the Fulham captain. And it's 1 0. It's a terrific finish, would you say it's a mistake? It's a mistake by Melville. Uses body strength, Macaroni. What a sweet strike, playing all over the back of the net. Marinelli now for Borough. Plays the ball inside, and it was Jonathan Greening who just came in front of Massimo Macaroni. Greening's cross, and Macaroni's header! And Steve McLaren's investment is paying off. Standing over it. Ehiog looking for it, flow back. It's Kedru that delivers. Macaroni! And that is the perfect. Afternoon in North London as Borough soared to third place on the back of their best performance in over 25 years. Then Wiltshire plays that into Macaroni. Macaroni's just trying to turn. Macaroni in the end finds Kid Ruin. Maybe Wiltshire in some space. Oh, Wiltshire goes down. Is yeah, it a penalty? It is. It is. Some fans will try and blow this one into the net. Yeah. He does it. <laughs> Massimo <laughs> Macaroni scored the equaliser for Borough. Borough, of course, would love to get something before the half time interval. Ball over the top. Maybe no. Macaroni now. <laughs> yes, that is the next goal. And it's Massimo Macaroni that scored it. Joseph, I think there's agony trying to score there, but it's felt nicely for Massimo. This is Boateng, he's urging his teammates forward. He's aimed that one towards Macaroni. If the Italian can get on the end of it, he goes down. And that's going to be is it, a penalty kick. Oh, Macaroni scored a penalty against Southampton at the Riverside this season. He scored one at Ellen Road to bring Borough back into this game. King struggling to control that one. Nemeth it is that's going to play Macaroni in flag and stay down. Macaroni! Oh, it's number four for Middlesbrough. And Massimo Macaroni's only been on the pitch five minutes. If they are to stay in the Premiership next season, so it should be another cracker next week. This is Janino again. Ball through to Macaroni. Macaroni has made it five. Flag and stay down. There was a couple of anxious looks to the linesman. But it's 5-1. Chance for Macaroni. Goes down. And it's a penalty. And Macaroni scores. It's 4-1. Mills is ball forward. Still had Nemeth with the header on. Chance for Macaroni through the middle. Macaroni has pulled one back for Borough. Well, it's a glimmer of hope in the dying moments of this game as Massimo Macaroni scores for the second successive game for Middlesbrough from the penalty spot against Arsenal. And now he's given, well, as we say, a glimmer of hope to Borough. Brings the ball forward for Middlesbrough now. Here's Joseph Job, maybe, and he goes down. And it's going to be a penalty kick against Keller this time. This could be a very important goal. Massimo Macaroni has taken up and he's saved it, Keller. Now, Mendieta just got ahead of Granger that time. Macaroni's in the middle. Mendieta continues to go. Macaroni makes it 2 0 to Middlesbrough. Don't really want this to end. Chance maybe now for Macaroni. Taylor was the defender who was coming across. Cut inside. Macaroni! What a goal! Massimo Macaroni has made it 4 2. I know where you think you get across in the box. He's curled a wonderful ball into the top corner. Root. Still Frank Kedroot. Continue to go. Maybe a chance now for Macaroni. 3-0. And Massimo Macaroni has got the goal, which he was threatening throughout the first half. Credit to Frank Kedroot, who started the move as well. But once again, Southampton defensively were very poor.
awful defensively, but in fairness, he's deserved it all afternoon. He's been a constant threat. He's worked ever side for the team, and it's a terrific best of, uh, best of finish. Well, there in towards Macaroni. Dunn it is that's come across. Macaroni's got ahead of Dunn now. He's got job in the mood. Jane Fawn, he's got it his own, and he's scored a wonderful goal. Well, that shows what Massimo Macaroni can do. He had job to aim for, and he had Nemeth to aim for, but he went by himself, and he's put Middlesbrough one up on seven minutes. Also look a bit hesitant here. Yakubu, Macaroni's got space. Macaroni on goal. Lehman's beaten in front of the new Holgate. Borough have a two-goal advantage against the Gunners, and didn't Macaroni enjoy that one? Johnson receiving possession. Cadreus coming up in support of the attack. Johnson round one. Johnson round two. Johnson inside the box. Puts a great ball in. Macaroni goal! Massimo Macaroni plants his head of beyond Vittemir Boutop. Macaroni gets the goal. But it was all about the wing clear. Whizzing it in there from Adam Johnson. Left a couple of Bulgarians in his wake. And Borough have a goal. Borough one. Litex Lovic nil. Doriver. Massimo Macaroni. Macaroni chance to turn. Macaroni chance for second. Macaroni hits him. What a goal! The gladiator strikes in imperious fashion. He hit that left footed. It scorched into the top of the Litex Lovic net. And that quite simply was magnificent from Massimo. But a two. Lovic nil. Top of the group now. Well, Macaroni. He hadn't been in the game, Ali, but I know he's a striker. You don't have to be having a good game to score goals. He grabbed the first, but that was something special. That was a fantastic, magnificent, call it what you like. It was a brilliant goal. I mean, Dariva feeds him. He's central. He drives towards the 18-yard line. And for about 25 yards, he's drilled it with his left foot, and it's ended up in the top right-hand corner. Well done, Mike Aroni. That is one hell of a goal kick. I was a lifted in towards the direction of Yakubu, chested down, hassle baggage of the penalty area. It comes away with Rock and back shot. The goalkeeper saves it. Macaroni, it's in! The greatest comeback since Lazarus! It's been completed by Shiva Macaroni! El Gladiator! Magnificent! 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 My eyes do not believe what I'm seeing! side of play great stuff cross inside of the penalty area is overplayed picks up the Adam Johnson left hand side of the area Johnson round one goes down is that a penalty yes it is Adam Johnson wins a penalty for the Borough you hold good in this for 2-0 this for Massimo Macaroni now the referee whistles for the penalty Massimo Macaroni slow it goes but it goes to the back of the net Macaroni away to the right hand side Shaka Hislop couldn't keep it out on Header goes high, but not particularly a good one. Here's for right, okay. Macaroni in space. Macaroni inside the penalty area. Macaroni in the angle. Hits the shot. Goal! Massimo Macaroni strikes it. And Borough possibly, possibly have some hope yet. It's Borough 1. It's Steyer 2. But the man who scored in the last minute against Basel has scored to lift the riverside. The floor. It's, but here's Stewie Downing. Downing there. Downing running beyond the fullback. Whips a great looking ball in. Header! Goal! Massimo Macaroni! Massimo Macaroni! Macaroni's header! A bar of struck a stick to the heart of Dracula's boys! And it could be Ain Massimo Macaroni had earned a reputation as a late goal-scoring hero in Borough's UEFA Cup run the previous season. His impact this campaign had so far been minimal. But against West Ham United, the Gladiator would strike one more time. Panamol attacks it. Maybe inside the box on Macaroni. Macaroni at the angle. Macaroni goal! The Gladiator strikes! And West Ham United's resistance is broken down. How often? 
Clifton at the Riverside Stadium is Massimo Macaroni, the late, late hero. With 16 left, he's done it again. 